I get to play with you. Kind of reminds me of something else. And I'm, and I'm up here being, Woo! I'm up here being like, kind of virgin too. Woohoo! We can get really funny and we can like laugh together. <laughs> okay, well, you know how amazing the universe is. It's like, I watched this happen for my aunt, who was very flat chested. And then she gave birth to a little girl who grew up to be a very big-breasted woman. And I always wanted to be really funny, but I did. I got to get a really funny daughter. And, uh, and I'm up here to tell you about her. And when I realized she was funny, she was like three years old. We're in the bathroom. She's going potty. And I'm wiping her. And I'm going, I love you so much, my baby girl. I really, gosh, I, I wish you could just stay. So mommy can take care of you forever. Terrible thing to tell your kid, but you know, you just say these things. And, and here's my very funny little girl going, it's okay, mommy. She goes, I'll, I'll, always, I'll always need you. I'll always, I'll I'll always find it disgusting to wipe my own butt. <laughs> but, yeah, and then I take her to a rainbow gathering. I don't know if you know about this every 4th of July. It's uh, Woodstock, but we're going to improve on it. And like 30,000 people come. This is true. This is so much fun. You have the indigenous village, and you have the Christians, and you have Jerusalem, and you have the botanists, the ecologists, and the chiropractors. You even have a village just to make people laugh. And my little funny daughter, right? Here we are at Kitty Village, and she's still my nursing baby, and she was always very protective. And she starts, she's getting the spirit of the gathering there. And she starts calling up the other little babies that were there, and she's like offering them my breasts. <laughs> like, I like this kid. So she's eight years old, and we're going to a rainbow gathering, and we're climbing up this mountain. And she says, Mommy, I'm going to give you your rainbow name. She said, Mommy, you're, you're river, because you're like the river. You keep on going. You get around obstacles. You're strong. You're steady. This is true. This kid, I mean, every generation, there's a new, improved, more conscious version of humanity. You see it, believe in it, support it, help it grow, because these kids are amazing. And I thought, I'm taking this girl into nature a lot. That's one of the sweetest, most romantic things anyone's ever said, right? So two years later, she's now my 10-year-old daughter, and we're going to a rainbow gathering. And she goes, Mommy, I'm giving you your rainbow name this year. I mean, you're the woman who overreacts to small adjustments. <laughs> no, I liked her when she was eight. But now she's a big 20, and I don't know if she knows, but I'm following her on Facebook. <laughs> and I see her and her sister, they both buy these t-shirts that go, no boyfriend, no problem. And I watch her the one day, and she's saying, that's it, I've had it with men, I've had it with guys. Bring on the fine bitches, where are they? And the very next day I go to check her out on Facebook, and there she is, this warrior woman. She's got one hand up in the air, she's got all this makeup on, and she's got this cute little girl under her arm. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh, she, I'm glad that she is still funny, and she's still playing. And I know there's a lot of funny in my head. <laughs> There is. I can make myself laugh. Um, see, this is, yeah, I'm going to keep coming back. You guys be patient with me because I really want to be able to share the funny. I think that would be so great. Thank you. Woohoo!